Uh, one more very important point regarding the conventional reaction is the commutation time as well as the uh, uh, reactance voltage. <coughs> what is reactance voltage? Reactance voltage is the voltage when the coils are going under commutation, the voltage induced in the, the brushes at that time is called the reactance voltage. And mathematically, it is given as uh, 1.11 L by TC into the current, which is multiplied by 2. This is this formula is for reactance voltage and this is very important formula where L is the inductance of the coil and TC is the commutation time. Commutation TATIOM is called the commutation time. L is the react uh, inductance of the coil and I is the current going through it actually it's IC commutation current commutation time so the reactance voltage if I say R V or if I say V reactance is inversely proportional to the commutation time. This is an important uh, figure, important formula, important uh, thing that we should remember for objective type. That this type of question may be asked in the examination and it has been asked in the examination that the voltage regulation, the, uh, the reactance voltage is proportional to uh, T, T square 1 by T or 1 by T square. So the answer is the reactance voltage is directly proportional to the uh, directly proportional, sorry, inversely proportional to the um, uh, TC or I can say reactance voltage is, is directly proportional to 1 by TC. This is very important. So we should remember this thing also. Another thing is that regarding the generator is the voltage regulation. In the transformers, uh, we have seen what is voltage regulation. So, it's voltage regulation the same here also that the uh, change in voltage from low load to full load uh, is called the voltage regulation. So, uh, the machines which is uh, which are having um, uh, a very less change in voltage from low load to full load are called uh, the good uh, regulation. Regulations, whereas the machines which are, are having uh, a large gap between the low load voltage to the uh, full load voltage, then it is they are called as the poor of voltage regulation machine. We have seen the compound graph uh, before about the voltage regulation that the uh, separately excited generator is having good regulation than the uh, shunt excitation and. Uh, Best excitation is best voltage regulations are given by the compound generators apart from the differential compound. So all the commutator compound uh, generator have better voltage regulation than the shunt generator and separately excited generator. So mathematically, it is also called as V no load minus V full load to V full load into 100. This is an important formula that we should remember. <coughs> and for in some compound generators, for in some compound generators, it is from the full load to be no load upon the no load. <coughs> Normally, this, this is the formula which we are using for 
voltage regulation. We'll do some examples on DC generator now. That this is the example number one. That uh, if there is a shunt generator whose output is 200 amperes and the terminal voltage is 250 volts with RA is equals to 0 0.04 ohm and RF is equals to 50 ohm we have to find the generated EMF PG <coughs> before solving the question uh, we will understand some things in this question that first of all output is equals to 200 ampere is given uh, it is directly means that this output is, is the load current IF <coughs> Another thing which I have uh, when we were talking about the shunt generator and series generator simultaneously, uh, as I said that the uh, armature resistance should be very low uh, and the speed resistance should be as high as possible so that lesser current IA would be flowing in the uh, shunt branch panel, the shunt branch in the uh, shunt generator. If I have the it again, R A and R. This is a shell generator, and the load is connected to it. Since it is said that the load current IL is 200 amperes, this is 200 amps, then <coughs> resistance RA is given that is 0 0.04 and RF is given that is 50 ohm. Even though if it is not written over there, then one should understand that the feed resistance of a shell generator should be very high. It's the same reason that which, which we have discussed earlier that the uh, lesser number, less current should flow from it, so the resistance should be high. Whereas resistance, armature resistance should be as low as possible because since it is coming into the uh, load part and if it is a higher resistance then it will also consume some uh, power from generated power Pg and if some um, is if a bigger part of uh, this load the bigger part of this power actually is consumed in RA, then uh, load will not be having that much sufficient power uh, which it was required previously. So, RA should be as low as possible as it is given 0 0.04 ohm and RF should be as high as possible. So, even if RA and RF, RF are not given, one should understand which is RF and which is RF. Now, coming back to the uh, original question that I have IL, is what we need to find is the EG. What is the formula of the EG? EG is equals to VT. This is the terminal voltage VT plus IA into R. And what here what IA is actually, IA, this IA is equals to I shunt plus I load current. This is well known to everybody. So, IA is equals to I shunt plus IL. So, IL is already given to you. You need to find the I shunt. If you find the I shunt, then VT is given to you, terminal voltage and RA is also given to you. Then we can find the total EG. So for, before finding the EG, we need to find the shunt current. So how I can find the shunt current is by VT by is the terminal voltage VT divided by the shunt resistance that is V by RSH which is 250 divided by 50 which is equals to 5 amperes 
Now again, if I see that I shed is very much low as compared to the low current. So this is uh, important again a discovery of us that a shed current should be as low as possible. Uh, means it should not be uh, below the permitted value. It should be uh, that much only so that it will be able to create the flux which is required to have the generation of electricity. I shed is very small in comparison to I. So from this formula, I can have I A is equals to I shed is 5 amperes plus my I N that is 200. So I A is equals to 200 5 amperes total. So I, from this formula, I can have Vg is equals to Vt plus Ia Ra. Vt is then my Vg will be coming as Vt is equals to 250 plus of Ia, which is coming from this 205, multiplied by my Ra, which is 0 0.04. This Vg is coming to be. 270.2 volts. This is how we found the PG. This is a very easy example uh, just to show that uh, our shine generator is behaving. We will be doing some more typical problems uh, on DC shine generators.